How to Play Hearts You can learn how to play hearts easily. It's a common enough game, played in different cultures under different names, with slight variations here and there. The objective of the game is to have the lowest number of points when it ends, so the player needs to get rid of the high point cards, that is, any of the hearts and the queen of spades. The number two card has the lowest rank, and the ace is the highest. A minimum of three and a maximum of seven players can play, although four is the usual number. The steps follow. 1. Deal the cards out. Players pick out a card at random. The one who gets the lowest point card is the dealer. All 52 cards are dealt to all the players clockwise, from the dealer's left, until everyone has the same number of cards. Any extra cards are set aside as the whole card. 2. Players choose three cards and pass them to their opponents. They try to pass the highest point cards to them. Thus, they keep their scores down and saddle their opponents with higher ones. On the first deal, cards are passed to the right. On the second, to the left. On the third, across. On the fourth deal, the cards are not passed. Instead, players keep whatever hand they are dealt. 3. Whoever gets the two of clubs must put it down first. All players must then try to top that with any number of the same suit. The player with the highest number wins the trick. If the player has no more cards of the same suit, then a card of another suit may be laid down. A heart or the queen of spades cannot be laid down on the first trick. Whoever wins the trick leads the second round and so on until all the cards are played. Hearts can only be played when the player has no other cards of the same suit to play. But hearts are usually not allowed on the first trick. The player has to use cards of other suits unless he only has hearts. Once a heart has been laid down, other players may start putting down hearts. The Queen of Spades, on the other hand, may be dumped if you run out of cards of the same suit while being led. You want to get rid of this particular card so you don't end up with a high point card at the end of the game. However, if the queen is the highest point card in the trick, the consequence to your score will be to your disadvantage, as you will find out next. 4. After every trick, the winner takes all the cards played in that trick and puts them in front of him. The hearts and the queen of spades are separated from the stack and likewise placed before him. 5. When all the cards are played, scores are counted according to the number of points of the heart and queen of spade cards the player got from tricks one. Each heart gets one point. The queen of spades gets 13. It is a special case when a player tries to gather all the cards in the heart suit and the queen of spades. This is called shooting the moon. When the player succeeds in doing this, he has the option of charging all his opponents with 26 points, or gets a deduction of 26 points from his score. 6. The game ends when a player scores 100 points. However, he isn't the winner. It is the player with the lowest score who wins. Do you want to play this game and put your strategic, tactical, and analytical skills and powers of observation to the test? You can do this by learning how to play hearts.